She's jazz. jazz, jazz. She's smart. It's the Jazzy Report on the D.L. Hughley Show. The Education Department has ordered Duke University and the University of North Carolina to remake the Middle East Studies program, saying the department and the programs did not represent enough positive imagery of Judaism and Christianity in the region. Trump a, did that. In a That's rare instance of federal intervention in college course content, the department asserted that the university's Middle East program violated the standards of a federal program that awards funding to international studies. That's what Trump. That's the Trump administration. That's exactly. You know, and you know who Betsy DeVos. That's right. It's That's exactly. Crazy. He Redo is not, he's no more a Christian than any than I am. Yeah. But he's he knows that he needs them and to do he look, I'm gonna make sure you look your 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 businesses are closing down, your farms are shut down. But at least I say I love Jesus and you Isn't you that crazy? Again. Mm-hmm. The federal government steps in and tells a, a university what curriculum to do. And mm. it's crazy. Can't learn that. No. Nope. Mm. So uh a hat that zaps the scout with a built in patch that produces electricity on its own, may combat male balding. See, the go. patch, se- <laughs> hey Skip, the go. patch sends electrical pulses to the scalp when triggered by motion, promoting natural hair growth chemicals in the skin. A trial of the device on the balding father of one of the researchers have proved to be, uh, it, it proved him to be able to regrow hair within a month. So now they're designing a baseball cap. No. All right, Skip, uh, Black J, uh, anything? Uh, yeah, nothing on that. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah. they, walk around, they can walk around with no hat humming. <laughs> right. Well, turn it on low. <laughs> Anything, Skip? I, I, I'm going to just tell you like this. Now, remember when Deion Sanders came out and got all that hair back and he was talking? I uh-huh. went and showed my wife. I said, should I get this? She said, no, baby, you sexy just like you. You better not right. get this. I'm right. finished with it. I'm finished with the hair. My right. man. Okay. My man. I'm finished with it. the hair. Exactly. That's how you do it. But that was before she became a TV star. Now. <laughs> <laughs> she don't want you to show him at the Emmys looking like Fred Sanford. She don't want that happen. <laughs> oh, no, I'm going to shade the sides now. Wait a minute. I'm going to shade the sides. <laughs> Can't be rocking the bozo. No, no. <laughs> Homie don't play that. No. <laughs> so Portland, Oregon has acknowledged that it removed 3,300 gallons of human waste from the streets. Uh, in the past uh, year alone, police say they are powerless to stop homeless people from relieving themselves in public, even if it happens in front of them, because an Oregon court barred authorities from using a state law in cases of public urination and defecation. You can do it in front well, of them. You can, and they can't do anything about it. Well, <laughs> the, the reason is, that, that, like, and you look at all these the western cities and these temperate cities, they have so many homeless people because the weather is not as harsh as in right. a lot of places. Right. And also attitudes aren't as harsh. And, but I think that you got to deal with the fact that it's like disease, leprosy and typhus and Are stuff back. like that. They're, they're back. And if you go to Portland, they pay homeless people to – you can return uh, paper and plastic and um, aluminum cans. They have the cleanest streets I've ever seen, except for all this but yeah, for the dookie, yeah. Well, where else are they going to use the bathroom? It's not right. like porta potties there anywhere. Uh, yeah. Restaurants and yeah. businesses won't let you in unless yeah. you buy something. It, well, they're homeless. It's amazing so. that people who live outside will actually take a dump outside. Yeah, yeah. how amazing. about that? Wow. How where about else that? would they do it? Well, you know, the, a dog should be able to <laughs> yeah. walk down the street and step in some human poop. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that's true. No. Ha- curb your oh, homeless. They should curb that. That's terrible. Curb oh, your homeless. Per- that's that's cool. terrible. <laughs> I couldn't even finish it. Jeff Brown said that. That was. That's what you had me for, here for it. Uh, <laughs> all right, coming up next, we got a song for when your mom and daddy were still together. Plus, if you plan on moving in together, you might want to cancel that U-Haul until you hear my top 10. That's coming up in less than 15 minutes. This, of course, is the D.L. Hughley Show. More fun is on the way on the D.L. Hughley Show.